to my channel. This is the Empathic Pisces here. Today I'm doing a reading on another missing persons case. Her name is Krishan Ashley Sims. She also goes by Cookie. Um, I came across her case today and um, I was drawn to her photo. She's missing out of Los Angeles and um, she's 30 years old. She was last seen September 8th. Okay. Um, only thing that I do see is that she is a fitness influencer or uh, trainer. Um, and um, not much else, but. When I do tune into her, her energy, I don't know. I, I get some conflicting feelings. I have mixed feelings with this, this case. Um, I'm not even sure how to explain how I feel, but it's just... I don't know, there's a lot going on today. Um, I'll just say that. And I, I, I don't get a great feeling. Um, get a feeling that something has happened okay so I'm going to just leave it with that and I want to just see what comes out in the cards this young girl young lady okay thank you I'm going to ask for my spirit guides to come into this reading archangels guardian angels thank you so much your clarity in the situation regarding Kashan Sims. I ask to connect to Kashan's spirit, her spirit guides, to get clarity. Why is she missing? Why hasn't she reached out to her family? situation surrounding child's disappearance. What's the situation? Oh, oh, goodness, it's all cards here. Okay, hold on. So it's a lot of cards. I'm gonna take this top, put it back. I'm gonna leave these here, okay? Let's see. If any other cards need to come out, they'll come out. Here to put it out there. Ooh. So the first card that came out was Evil Eye. Negative energy, negative thoughts. Um, this could be someone not having good intentions, but I just, I feel like she could have been in a negative place, a negative situation. We have anxiety, communication, gossip, okay. Got blinded, 
happiness. Let's see here. Well, we have illness. And I do feel this be her. I'm drawn to these two cards here. Something was causing some type of illness. This can be a physical illness. This also could be a mental illness. I'm picking up mental illness and negative thoughts, energy. I don't know. These two feel like they go hand in hand. We have anxiety, worry. Um, some type of talk or communication. Hmm. I don't know why I just heard voices. I don't know what that means, but uh, this blinded. You see they're blindfolded. So this comes up and you could just be, this could be speaking of being unsure about the path you're going, okay? Not having foresight or making the decision and, and not being clear on the outcome, okay? Not seeing something that you could be getting a warning of. I do feel this speaks on her having some type of happiness in her life. And this could represent her loving and being happy with what she was doing as far as being a, a fitness influencer. Okay, let me see if I get some clarity on some of these cards here. This illness and evil eye. For some reason. Let's see. Spirit. Why is this why is this down to the evil eye here? Can I get some clarity on this, please? Regards to Sean. To speak to her. We have listened to intuition. When this card comes up, this speaks to you kind of feeling something in your gut, okay? Something could be telling me, you know what, maybe I shouldn't do this or I need to do this. She wasn't listening, okay? Oh, man. And I asked in regards to this evil eye and illness. I don't know why I keep getting drawn. Something in regards to this, this negative energy. Mixed messages here. I don't know nothing about this young lady. Um, if she had a mental illness or if... Someone surrounding her had some mental illness. We have walk away. This is showing two people here having some type of disagreement. Um, this could be saying that she left a situation. Did she leave home on her own will? Um, I have to get that too. And for some reason, I'm feeling like her leaving a situation that was toxic or that just whatever happened, it, it wasn't good. I do feel like this is her walking away from something. And maybe she just needs some time. But this illness and this evil eye um, doesn't sit well with me. I'm gonna see what else. Um, What else can you give me spare in regards to Kassan? Could, could be a missing right now. Did she walk away from the situation here? Let's see.
Okay. Oh. Sorry, y'all. I just, when I see certain cards doing these readings, it, it, it just breaks my heart. So, got spiritual gifts. We all have spiritual gifts, y'all. I get this card a lot, but this speaks to something to me with this listen to your intuition. Okay. She was being guided. She she was spiritually aware. Okay. Or she might not have been aware, but when you see these spiritual gifts and these synchronicity numbers, angel numbers, this is letting you know that maybe she could have been going through an awakening or 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 picking up on certain things or thinking about like, hmm, is there something else out there? She knew things. Maybe she just wasn't aware of how intuitive she was, okay, or is. So, spiritual attachment came out in mourning. This is not good, okay? This is like a loss. Now, this could speak to someone having a spirit around them. Okay, a loved one. But to me, with this goes hand in hand, this is could be stating that she is in the spiritual realm. And I'm not saying that um, that she is, but that's what this the cards make me feel. Okay, like I said in the beginning, I didn't get a good feeling. But we have crystals here. This is earth energy. Um, I don't know why I'm here in balance with this. See, I I don't just go by the meanings of these cards. There's multiple meanings, but when I hear certain words and it just may apply. Um, I feel like she needed some grounding she needed to ground herself and when you get this card this could be telling you hey get some crystals to help keep you grounded protected there was negativity and i feel like this could have been a person or this could have been her being drawn to negative energy and sometimes when that happens it can mess with your mind oh we got moving here. This is going from one place to another. So either she left her home, moving out, and she's just hiding out, which I'm not I'm not getting at. But I could be wrong. Okay, but that's not what I'm getting. Or someone physically could have moved her somewhere. Okay. I'm going to see what else wants to come out here. Why is this one card here? Why is this Sean? Ashley Sean. Why is this one card? Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. So I asked in regards to this morning. I got witchcraft. Multiple meanings here, okay? But this seems like some type of, of self sacrifice ritual, like something was manipulated. Something was manipulated with this this morning. Then I get this forgive. This is remorse, regret. Oh, I'm sorry. And I feel like this represents her. I do, y'all. I, I, oh.
remorse or some type of action. That's that's okay. I'm going to pull some cards from my psychic tarot oracle deck here. Okay. Let's see if I can show some more cards. So what's going on? Oh, what was going on? What's going on with her situation around me? Let me see. Before I go forward, these cards popped out, okay? Moving on. Okay, this is moving out of harm's way. You see this darkness here, move into the light. But this came out upside down. I don't normally read reversals, but I, I'm starting to incorporate that because I do feel like it, it gives a... a it wants to speak to a, a, a focus, okay? So, I feel like there was something going on with her where she was in a, a negative situation mentally in her, her environment, okay? And if this was upright, I would feel like, okay, you know, maybe she is, she's moving. I feel like she did need to move away from a situation. But with this in reverse, I, I, I feel like something halted that. There's a, a lack of movement, okay? I just feel like she's still in this dark place. Now... This card popped out. This is fertility. This is similar to the Empress card, okay? So, when I see this card, I see a nurturing female energy, okay? I really think this represents her. Um... I think of abundance. I think of nurturing. This could also represent pregnancy. I don't know if this young lady has a child or was pregnant, but this could represent that. Could she have been with a pregnant at the time? Is she pregnant? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what comes out. Mm. Okay, memories of love. <sighs> I don't get a good feeling with this card with in doing missing persons cases because only because it makes me feel like this heavy heart energy it makes me feel like someone thinking about someone that's no longer present okay um it doesn't have to mean that though this could just be representing um her thoughts at the time maybe you know she was reflecting on past things where she felt loved um I don't think she feel she 
she feels loved wherever the situation okay yearning for for those memories oh. Sometimes this makes me think of a visual to a visual. Oh, oh okay. A shadow. Our foundation. Um. Hmm. This is truths coming out. Things in the dark coming to light. Things deep down that are hidden. And when I see shadow, it's like sometimes I'm thinking about that. Your shadow self, that, that dark self, that self that you don't, that you need to work on. You see like a person staring at their self in the mirror. I think this is just speaks to some things going on in her life that maybe people didn't know about, okay? Not so great things. We have firm foundation in reverse. Upright, this is a firm foundation. This is like stability. Okay, you see this mountain in the back. And I feel like this could represent her home life. Something, the foundation was disrupted, okay? It wasn't firm, it wasn't stable. And this passion ignited, I feel like this is her energy. This is like the Ace of Wands. I feel like because of this lack of firm foundation and this, 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 Secrets she wanted to get away of. This sparked her to to put some fire under her to get away from the situation. Hmm. We got third eye chakra. Okay. This is using your intuition. But this is upside down. Upright, you're using your intuition, okay? She wasn't. Or maybe she was too late. This is similar here, okay? Hmm. Emotional loss. This is upside down. So to me, this speaks to coming out of something of an emotional type of loss. Maybe she was feeling like um, mourning something. Okay? The loss of something and... and Coming to terms with it. Uh, I, just, I just don't get what's going on with this. And we have rest and rejuvenate upside down. This is a lack of balance. You see this person is meditating here. Whatever's going on with her. I feel like she did try to walk away from a situation that was just not good, not serving her or some negative, some negative energy. I see a lack of balance here. There's no rest, there's no meditating, there's no rest and rejuvenating. You're not doing it. It just makes me feel like her, her spirit is, is in a disarray. 
wherever is going on, she's not at rest, at peace. She's not being at peace with yourself. You got recognition and reward in reverse. Not being recognized, not being noticed for good things you've done. Mm, 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 mm. Not feeling good about yourself. What's this? Suffering and silence. Just like fear. Being up at night. Coming out of that. Something's definitely going on. So, we have this home here. And we have trapped in fear. This is mental energy. Something's going on. Someone close to her. Someone at home. Or this could be a relationship. I see a lack of, of, of balance. Confusion, okay? I'm seeing confusion. And I'm feeling confusion. I know I said that in the beginning. It's, it's just... Patience and planning. Reverse. I feel like this is speaking to, you have the four seasons here. Something, there was lack of patience, okay? And I feel like there was, whatever struggles was going on with her, They've been going on for a long time. And she was tired of it. She was tired of it. So we had disruption. So, lack of patience. You're tired. This is like a whole season, a whole year. I don't know why I'm picking up a year of, 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 Things not going right, arguments, um, and we have disruption. This is similar to the tower card, okay? Major shakeup, a major thing, major change, okay? Now we have light. So this is similar to the sun card. You have disruption, and then you have light. Darkness, light. Obstacles and challenges, what I just said. There was a lot going on. Prosperity begins in reverse. Upright, this would be a start of something, a new beginning. Um, mm. That was disrupted here. We got mental conflict. Okay. So, I'm not picking up one particular person involved right now um, I don't know 
normally I'll pick up a particular male or female. I'm not picking up a particular person, but that doesn't mean there's not a person involved in this. I do feel like there were a, was a lot going on in her life. Um, a lot of disharmony, I should say. I'm also seeing a lot of emotional, mental struggles. Okay. Okay, could you show me spirit? Uh -oh. I don't know why this card flipped over. The Eight of Swords. Self-restriction. Um, spirit, just show me. Circumstances surrounding the shine's disappearance, please. What's going on? What happened? Why is she missing? People in the oh, goodness gracious. All right, y'all. Mm. I asked for more. We have the death card here. Okay. This is the end of a cycle. Transition. Transformation. Um, something ended. Okay. Doesn't have to be literal. But sometimes it is. I'm going to just be honest. It don't. This don't look good. And we have five of wands. This is struggles, conflict. You see, it's five people here. Like, I'm, I'm not getting a one single person. I feel like there were struggles. There were arguments. There were things going on in her life. It may not have anything to do with her missing, but I think part of it does. Oh. And then just to show you this eight of swords, this is mental energy, okay? As you can see, this lady it looks like she's tied up, but these are loose. Sometimes we can be mentally um, conflicted and, and, and confused and keep our own self trapped because of what things that's going on that we're not able to handle, okay? But there's also other people involved. There's struggles, conflict. This person is blindfolded. You can't see your way out of a problem. I keep picking up mental illness too. And like I said, I don't know if she has a mental illness or if it's someone close to her, but it's significant. It keeps coming up. I only go to what I get from spirit, okay? We have an ace of swords in reverse. Lack of clarity, lack of information. This is communication. This is mental energy. Being conflicted. Sometimes when it's upright, it's good. This is like a new thought, a new, new information. And I feel so mixed up. There's a lack of clarity in this situation right now. Okay. So these two cards came out. Eight of Wands, which is quick movement, fast movement, fast communication. This is upside down though. This stagnant, you have fire energy here, but it's not moving fast. It's going to take some time. I hope this, this young, this lady's okay. Um, but whatever this is meaning is, is I 
I'm feeling something has been halted. We have judgment here. Hmm. This is awakening, spiritual awakening. It could be um, also releasing, okay? You have this angel here on his horn. You have judgment. And this could be, you know, using good judgment, using discernment. Sometimes this is also represents transition from the physical to the spiritual. That's just what I'm picking up now. Oh, what's the outcome of the situation? Will she be still alive, spirit? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Sean be found. I don't even know if she's going to be found soon. Where is she going to be found? Oh, okay. She'll be found okay, Spirit. <sighs> okay, I asked, will she be found okay? I got the temperance in reverse. Okay. So upright, this is about moderation, okay, balance. It's about being patient with yourself. Upright is lack of balance, a lack of stability, a lack of patience. Um, this would be a no, okay? But it doesn't have to be. I think it's just going to take some time. It's going to take some time. This is not going to be. I just start. So we're going to hope for the best. This is a good card. We have a lack of balance, patience, but we have hope. Let's be hopeful, y'all, that this young lady is found safe. I'm going to end this here. Um, I'll probably do a follow-up, but I'm going to end this here, okay? Um, like I said, cars don't look the greatest. But we're going to hope for the best that this young girl, maybe she just um, needed to leave a situation negative that was not good for her. Um, let's hope that she's found safe, okay? Let's continue to pray for her and her family. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, comment and thanks to all my new subscribers. Y'all stay blessed, stay safe, peace and blessings to you.